Hey everyone, so I just filmed another video and I felt like I should do this video since I'm already filming and because it's been a few months since the last little update I gave you guys. Um, if you didn't see my first one, uh, it's just called like a life update and it was posted a few months ago and I basically was just explaining the stuff I was dealing with and everything like that and I've had some people ask about it and everything like that so I just thought um, I would do this and just because I need to because I need to update you guys um, so the last time we talked about it I was in a really really bad place and I was barely eating I could I was really really sad my anxiety was very bad like just everything was really bad so yeah it was just hard for me to kind of do anything um, just be normal but now, a few months later, um, I am doing better. I have been taking my medicines. I'm currently on three medications for whatever I had. They never really figured it out. I had my endoscopy done. They didn't find anything too alarming. They found like slight gastritis and slight swelling, um, but nothing like crazy. Then I, oh, my dog just farted. Ew. That's disgusting. Nova! I did the barium swallow, which was literally one of the worst things I've ever done in my whole life. It was, I cried the whole time and I was like shaking. It was awful. I never gonna do that again and I don't wish it on anyone. It was so awful. For some people, it might have not been as, as bad, but because I was where I was and dealing with what I was dealing with, it was terrible oh my gosh okay so anyways it was just kind of weeks and months of like going in and out of the hospital in and out of the doctor and we weren't really finding out what was wrong with me and so I just have I was just having a lot of breakdowns because I just didn't understand why they couldn't find anything and at school my anxiety was really bad I had multiple panics panic attacks I could barely even stay there for a full five days I would usually miss once a week um, and struggle to get through the day every single day pretty much um, it was just not a very didn't feel like a very good place for me to be it wasn't a very positive place for me and my school really didn't help at all we reached out to them told them what was going on I'm pretty sure they even talked to my therapist they didn't really care they didn't really do that much um, they would act like they were going to help out and then nothing would happen. I had to let all my teachers know what was going on. Um, most of them are pretty like nice about it, I guess. But of course, they didn't. It, it's still hard for them to fully understand. We had to tell them so that they would kind of back off of me because they kept bugging me about my grades and about my work. And, um, you know, we, I just didn't want them to bother me because I was already like having a lot of anxiety and just being really sad and tired and everything. So they kind of like backed off and everything and it was just hard for me to focus on anything else besides my health um, because I just wanted to get better. I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep that good. I was taking all these medicines. I was so tired. I was just sad all the time like because I didn't, I just didn't understand. I was frustrated and just a bunch of emotions. So it was really hard for me to put school first and for me school has never been a first priority because I think that mental health and just other life stuff is more important than school to some people it might not be that way and that's fine that's you but for me I value other things over school because I don't want my life to be controlled by grades or college or whatever it is that's just not how I roll I was doing decent in school before everything happened but I just kind of had like a decline whenever I started getting really bad and I started failing classes and I just was sleeping a lot during school and I just was crying and leaving and panicking and like it was just it was just really bad um so I was just literally dying until winter break so I could just leave that stupid school. So winter break comes and I was on my medication and um, you know got some time to rest and like 
do some YouTube videos and do some other stuff that I liked. So it was like really good. I started doing a little bit better because I was just like in a happier place and I didn't have to go to school every day and I was like sleeping a little bit better and I wasn't as sad because of I wasn't going to school and I just could rest. So it was really good. My break was really good. And then I was asking my mom about homeschool because I just did not want to go back to my school. And she was considering it um, but she wasn't sure if that would be a good decision or whatever. So then we had to meet with my therapist, we met with my therapist, and we decided that it would be okay, like it would be the best for me, and, you know, she helped relieve some worries and doubts, and she just gave us some support. And so we made the decision a few days later, or actually we made it like that day, but I went to school for like another week and then we unenrolled me. And now I am homeschooled. That's, that's pretty much where I am now. Um, like I said, I'm doing a lot better. I'm able to eat, I've gained some weight. Um, I'm not able to eat completely 100% normal like it's still not all the way there yet. I hopefully over time it will eventually get there. But as of right now, I'm still, you know, I'm still dealing with it, but I have been doing you know, getting better being out of school. Like my anxiety is lessening. My depression is lessening. Like I'm getting some more sleep. I'm eating. So everything like that. I've had some more time to just get better. And, um, of course, do more stuff that I love, which helps me mentally and emotionally. So, um, yeah. And I've been putting my heart into all the things that I love. And I've been able to learn about things that I'm interested in. And, yeah, overall, it's been pretty good recently. I've just, you know, been focusing on myself and my health and the things that I like to do. And, um... Yeah, I've really been doing a lot better, and I just wanted to update you guys, like I said, and tell you where I'm at, and everything like that. Um, there's times when it's better, and there's times when it's worse. One day I might feel, like, really good, and then another day I might not feel as great, but it's definitely way better than a few months ago, for sure. Like, I'm so relieved that I'm where I'm at now, because I missed just eating so much, and now I'm eating... Pretty much whenever I get the chance, all the time at home, whatever I can, all that stuff, just so I can get back to where I was. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's, I think I covered everything. Yeah, but this was my little life update for you guys. I will definitely keep you guys updated if anything else happens, but as of right now, that's just what's going on. Thank you guys so much if you watched this whole thing, or if you watched, um, Give it a thumbs up if you like just update videos, I guess. I don't know. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing good. I hope no one else is dealing with this. Um, if you are, you're not alone. Uh, it sucks, but you're not alone. And, uh, hopefully this video will help you feel less lonely. Um, so yeah, I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.